Hello everyone, this is Joe Dove 3 um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the knives I carry when I uh, go camping or I uh, go to test out uh, equipment for bug out and other uh, uses. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to talk about the five C's as well. Uh, my first C, in my opinion, is uh, cutting tools. Um, Got to have a heavy blade and uh, for that I use my... Uh, Becker BK9. It's a very awesome blade and not enough can be said about its sharpness. It's used for a batoning uh, tool and other uh, things. Uh, next I have a um, Charade SCHF9 uh, which is also another awesome blade. I use, actually use this for uh, bush carving, uh, bush crafting uh, as a matter of fact. Um, both great knives, you should have either or. I take both because uh, I kind of think of this as a big brother, little brother type thing. Always good to have a backup redundancy. Uh, these knives I'm talking about right now are um, full tang fixed blades. Uh, these two are straight edges. Um, this has a curve, but it's still considered a straight edge. Um, also, I took time to install a, a lanyard with a uh, Chinese. Uh, a button stopper right there to adjust that way you don't lose these knives uh, next is a, another fixed blade but this one is a a partial serrated edge and uh, straight edge this is the um, SOG or SOG seal, uh, seal pup another uh, neat knife uh, I use for a medium light duty when I'm not using the other two uh, another fixed blade is this CRKT Muck Marine Utility Knife. A uh, really neat knife here. As you can see, it has an offset uh, ergonomic handle uh, with cleaning spoon, uh, razor sharp uh, cutting edge, like they say. And I do love the non snag serrations. Uh, of course, it's blade protecting protector, uh, scaling, and uh, friction grooves. You can carry this both ways. This one, this one I like, like this, or like this. Real neat thing. I use this for uh, food preparation. I do love to go f uh, fishing a lot, so that stainless steel uh, blade is awesome. And next, we're going to some uh, folding uh, blades. Um, this is a Gerber, Gerber uh, Tonto. Um, I think it's a mini. I chose this because uh, it fits real nice, easy to seal inside a, one of uh, your bags or your pockets or, or any other small. Um, pouch with the clip right there. It has a lock blade of course. Flip open and uh, I love the, the point on here. Uh, this is light duty. Maybe cutting paracord other stuff like that. Um, serrated edge, straight edge knife. Uh, next is the Christmas uh, giveaway uh, Bass Pro Shops uh, folding straight edge knife. Uh, this is from 2013. Very sharp. All the knives I've talked about so far are very sharp. It has your uh, clip, uh, your blade lock right there. Uh, I tested it with by shaving a little bit of uh, my hand uh, hair on it. Uh, disclaimer, don't do that. <laughs> uh, this is also a Bass Pro Shop 2013 uh, knife giveaway. Um, with real tree, they changed the body handle. It's a um, has some gimping right here, good to hold. Maybe craft a little bit. I would don't recommend that with a uh, a folding blade. I just use fixed blade for that. Uh, again, you have your clip right there, and it has a real tree uh, handle right there. Really neat. Uh, put uh, lanyards on those. Uh, let's go over to uh, my Gerber machete. Uh, live in Texas, and yes, there's a whole bunch of weeds. And when you go out there, you use this for uh, prepping campsites and other things. Got a saw on one end uh, that works pretty well, and of course, the machete works really well. I'm very pleased with that. Um, also, got a Bear Grills. Uh, serrated saw well not saws are serrated um this is really neat uh, i like it a lot i use it to prepare a few things uh, i'll show some of that uh, some of its work it has a real smooth cut i love it 
uh, has a couple of holes in there so you could attach it to um, um, with some paracord to a lar to a pole or something like that, cut a cut out of a uh, reach of limbs. Another thing I'm very pleased with is the fast talk from uh, SOG or SOG. Um, I've also used this to carve uh, and cut up uh, benches, seats, and other things like that while out uh, camping. It's I'm very happy with it. Um, I love that at, uh, the fact that it has a hammer on this side, so when you hammer down something, you don't have to worry about going this way and hurting yourself. Uh, no, not a good thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, uh, this is the seat for the uh, charade uh, SC HF9. I'm very pleased with that. It's a nice seat. I don't know if you can really see it. I'll try to get that as best as you can. Very pleased with that uh, sheath right there. Okay, let me get over to uh, scissors. These are stainless steel scissors. I had these things for about 20, maybe even more years. Um, they are awesome. They come apart for easy cleaning. Have a fish scaler, um, can opener, bottle opener, other neat little things like that to use. Uh, they're still very sharp. Uh, Using to cut spider wire, uh, spider wire, ah, spider wire, fishing line, and other things like that. And they are awesome. Uh, next, um, toenail clippers, big and small. Those are great to have. Um, let's go over to multi tools. I have this little off-brand multi tool which I like a lot. Um, so I hang, I hung on to it. I uh, don't know where exactly that uh, got it from. I want to say Walmart, but I'm probably wrong with that. Um, there's a channel called Gear Obsession where they talked about this uh, little multi-tool. I just need to carry small blades. I carry that everywhere, everyday carry. Uh, Leatherman uh, CS with your scissors, your uh, little knife and um, tweezers. You hook up a lanyard to it or use a carabiner. Right now I'm using the carabiner on that. This is my main multi-tool, now that we're back on, uh, well, on to multi-tools. Uh, this is my uh, Leatherman rebar with all of its tools. And I'm not going to go into detail about that, but that is definitely everyday carry uh, so far. The only thing I don't carry with me uh, at times is uh, it's back up to Stanley uh, multi-tool, which is okay. I like to have, carry a pair of pliers with me uh, at times to do certain jobs uh, and stuff. Uh, one twists and uh, uh, loosens or tightens while the other uh, holds if possible. And of course uh, I carry with me a uh, sharpener uh, right there, Smith's, um, with his carbine and ceramic uh, uh, blade sharpeners and uh, I believe this is for serrated edges and of course uh, for larger jobs, I have a Smith's uh, sharpener right over here. Right there, so there's your, your fine and your uh, coarse. And uh, like I say, uh, I'm probably a little bit uh, uh, knife heavy, uh, but well, some people might think so, but I really don't think so. Um, I use these. Um, all the time when I'm out camping, I, there's certain tools you want to do certain things. I, I'll either cut uh, weeds away, clear out an area, uh, cut off small, uh, soft small branches to prepare a campsite. I use this for bushcraft and uh, uh, batoning as well. Uh, backup cutting utilities, um, right over here, food processing. It's a. Uh, I feel you need to have all these. Well, in my for my case anyway, to um, have a good and pleasant camping uh, trip. All right, um, this is Drove Dub 3 um, saying uh, bye for now. If you like, please subscribe and like the video, share. Um, I welcome all opinions. Um, you know, whatever you have to say, uh, go ahead and tell me if you like it, you don't like it. Um, I'm thick-skinned, so don't worry, I won't take anything, uh, you know, too harshly, uh, that's just the way I am, uh, but I would love to hear from you all in your, in your comments. 
you all have a good one wherever you are and be safe. Goodbye.